When I was invited to do the Liquitex residency, it was a complete change in my materials because I was working primarily in oil on canvas. And I was really excited about playing with their different materials and getting that same kind of spatial back and forth liquid motion out of acrylic, but in a very different way, like by not trying to make one be the other. Going to London meant not only was I leaving my home, my family, my life, but I was also leaving the materials that I always had kind of at the ready. That limitation sort of opened me up to all these new materials that I wouldn't have maybe used or gone for or experimented with if I'd had what I was comfortable with. Color is a strong tool in my work, and whether it's color that matches the thing that it's describing or whether it's something that has more to do with the emotion. It's something that I use to make space, to make things vibrate, to have that flickering quality. And I've really been grateful for Liquitex for providing me with the materials, the freedom, the time to bring about this shift in my work. I was so excited about showing here on the grounds of Mass Mocha because Mass Mocha itself is it's all about its installations, its projects, it's like being in an environment. So I was really excited about doing something that was more project-based, which is new for me. So while I was in North Adams, I wanted to blow up my drawings, see if I could make them even bigger. And I had this 28-foot wall that I really wanted to make a giant drawing on. I did it as a giant collage. So I painted parts of it, and then I kept cutting out different pieces and moving things around, shifting it into different places in the wall. The wall was divided by four pillars, so it almost read like film cells, and that's how, sort of how I thought of it, as this kind of scrolling narrative made out of the vocabulary of my everyday life. <laughs> 